Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I hope everybody's well. And yes, my voice is way, way much better. And I want to say thank you for all your prayers. Thank you for all your kind words and your support. But let's see what we have for this day. It sounds still my voice kind of yucky, but you know, I is just that kind of energy that, you know, even me as reader, either energy worker, I can't explain sometimes that's how it happens. Nothing hurts, it's just the voice knocking out. But I'm here for all of you, as you are for me. And, you know, realizing every single day more and more that family is those who are there for you. And all of you, you are for me as I am for you, loves. Thank you, thank you, and again, thank you. Let's see what we have for this daily, July 8th. I was like, what's going on with my cards, but... We are in between, indeed. Let's see. Chaos and conflict, here and now. Deep knowing, message in the bottle, serendipity, and voila, soulmates. Many of your loves, even if it's a daily message you know, Whatever in the world you are might be even bigger than just one day. I feel here you, you've gone through a lot and now you are transitioning in between. Chaos and conflict is in your past, is in your recent past, which I feel here many of you, you know to let that go and to be present. And here it is. There is coming news. For many, many of you, you might receive certain emails, messages, as you all send me those emails and those comments. Wow, I am wowing every single day how many of you are so kind. And the fact is, I am believing there is kindness in this world, not only, you know, the other parts. Serendipity, very beautiful energy for many, many of you coming. So it's kind of hanging tight there because you know, before chaos, there is calming. And for some of you, you are about to meet somebody good for yourself in your life. Let's see, loves, what this is about. And also what this in-between energy is happening for you. Let's see here, as the Spirit says, we can go forward. Let's see. And yes, I keep the silence for more than 24 hours it's incredible i've never been so so much not talking and not saying anything but was a must so the voice can get better and better and better and now you know talking very smoothly and not as loud as used to let's see for you loves Sometimes, you know, the universe is telling you that you got to keep silence. You got to go into your inner voice and listen to that. It's quite hard for me having my Taurus in my ascendant, being a Sag in my sun, and in my moon being a Virgo. <laughs> That's not really helping to not doing something which I need always. That's how I used to be since I, I'm a kid. I consider myself 
always go do, explore, see something new, be consistent. And many of you, I feel here, you find yourself in this energy as well. Let's see, loves. What do we have for you? Three of Pentacles. Working together on something or working on something with some help. Also, Three of Pentacles very much speaks that there are people there who are helping you to go forward. Underneath, High Priestess, you know. You know what to do. That's the deep knowing energy here. Quite incredible, right? Let's see. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Page of Swords, Page of Cups, Seven of Swords, Two of Wands. Most likely, whatever we're speaking today in this reading, in the next two weeks, are happening everything. Ten of Cups, Two of Swords, Five of Swords. Oof! And Six of Cups. All right, loves. We have Earth energy, water energy, and air. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What I'm seeing here, somebody here is looking forward to do something but they feel like they need more information about it they need more for themselves and I most likely speak with this earth energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn but the thing is like I I look forward should I go forward but I don't feel safe Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. Two of Swords. It's like I want something and I don't. What is best? Let's see here. Taking it slow. Taking it slow. Let's see here. Five of Swords, clarifying here. As you see here, somebody here indeed wants something, but what they think and what they feel are quite off here. Four of Cups. Seven of Cups and the Hangman, Two of Pentacles. Somebody here is still in a foggy energy due to some events they don't want to repeat. There's something here that they're looking forward, but they don't want to repeat a pattern. Seven of Swords. Are you here for eight of cups ace of cups four of wands moon I feel here for some of you That was built something here based on a lie. Could be a connection, could be a situation, or could be, yes, based on a lie, but most likely based on somebody who want something just for themselves. Not give and take for the other one just for themselves
So now that person is looking backwards. What's going on? How should I make it to work better? Because I feel here this is a very at the surface. Two of Swords. The thing is here, what I'm seeing very, very strong. Somebody walked away from a situation. I see them single here, focusing on themselves. And there is a person, maybe two, around them that they want to be with them, but seems that they have trust issues and their heart chakra is quite blocked. On the other hand here, there is a, a situation which they didn't have closure in the past. And they still have unclarity regards that. Two of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Seven of Wands. Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles underneath, and Lovers. And I feel here for whoever I'm speaking here, that past situation they've been involved in, it's not off yet. Or is not closed for real. The thing is, sometimes we do have closure, we get closure, and many other times we do not. So we need to choose closure for ourselves. What I'm seeing here, whoever here had an on-off, fast, slow connection with somebody, not a give and take, they still stuck in that energy. And the Spirit says, it's time to make a decision. Look what you got in the past and look what is coming right now. So, strong here energy, if you are an earth sign and you've been dealing with a fire sign in the past, it's time to choose something else. Because I, what I'm seeing here, there's too much decision, there's too much resistance between you two. Other thing here, what I'm seeing is... Look deep. What do you want? Lovers, magician, hermit. And look here, we have page of pentacles, page of wands. Okay? So it's time for you, on your own, to make your own decision. Okay? Not stay stuck. Because somebody here has two other people in the coming and might not see them. Let's see here. Page of Swords. Full. Page of Cups. Speak to me here, please. Four of Swords. Death. Could be a scorpion. 
Knight of Swords, and the Emperor, and Page of Swords, Four, Three of Cups, and Seven of Cups, Two of Cups underneath. So loves, for those of you who are in between, there is a regeneration and there is coming peace. Choose wisely, loves, because there is a soulmate coming in. You might need to leave a twin flame behind, but there is luck into whoever comes towards you. What I'm seeing here, there is somebody here, actually there are two people here ready to move forward with you. You don't see neither one of them. You don't see neither one of them. You might speak with both of them. You might give them messages, mixed messages, but neither of them are not quite there. Queen of Cups, let's see. Queen of Cups, what's going on here? Queen of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Will of Fortune. Eight of Wands. And Judgment. What I'm seeing here, somebody here feels like, well, I'm too busy. I am too busy. I focus on my work. I focus on me, I'm putting effort into my stuff, and I'm telling you, yes, nobody say that you are not busy. It's good to be busy. I'm always trying to be busy. But the thing is, the universe here is encouraging you to communicate and to see what could be offered to you? All right, loves. It's kind of like open to other possibilities. Open to other people here. Because I feel here, this is the message in the bowl. Serendipity. And the soulmate's energy. Because sometimes... We focus on certain things, but we might miss a very, very important thing. Knight of Cups. It's kind of like you want to give, not others. Well, sometimes you need to allow, because it's a give and take energy. To allow whatever it's coming. Okay. And let yourself to be there. What I'm seeing here between between these two. This water energy is very firm in their proposal. But the fact is, they both are waiting for you. This air sign could be a Gemini, or this water sign could be a Pisces. 
with Gemini, Aries or Scorpio in the chart. Let's see loves where you are heading towards. What's your decision or what's next? What's the outcome? Because there will be a decision here. Let's see here. One outcome for you. Strength. King of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Hierophant, and the Tower, and King of Swords. What I'm seeing here, loves, once you take action, will feel very uncomfortable will feel very hard will feel like you you are so you have so much pressure on you but i feel here once you understand that this is for your stability You will do it because surprisingly to you with the tower moment you are about to meet your person the one who you could get very much along the one who you can communicate freely like a friend because Queen of Swords, King of Swords, first thing first, they are friends. They are first thing first, the ones who are, communicate a lot, know them what they want and things like that. And as well, they are those kind of people who are not sugarcoating anything. Say the things as they are. If you do something I don't like, I will say it. If you will say something I like, I will compliment you and so on. So I'm feeling here that whoever I'm speaking here will take action and press. And most likely towards this watery energy because we have the AM power here. Allowance Tower King of Pentacles And underneath here we have Queen of Pentacles Yes, this is your soulmate Okay This is your person very different but yet very much on the point so here we are loves you know what to work on Somebody here, yes, had a big chaos in their life. A lot of chaos, actually. But being here and now, by, as we speak right now, as we have the tower, because the tower moment is now, the next weeks till the end of the season of Lion, Leo, Lion's Gate, this will change and actually will change in a big, big way. All right, loves. All right. 
the peace is coming loves peace is coming many blessings to you loves and I feel here you got the message don't hold on something which you yourself do not believe in okay and also we have all the nights here a lot of movement is gonna happen in the next two weeks many blessings and thank you and I'll see you next time Namaste.